we were going to register to vote. We had, everybody knew we were going. White folk knew we were going. They told us they're going to kill us if we came. But still, we had 150 some people who marched. I forget where we started at, but we, we, we marched in the back of that room, they all the way toward the courthouse. And we stopped at the corner of the courthouse and the sidewalk. And down this little, this is in Newton I'm talking about, where uh, the stores were open right around the courthouse. The stores were open then. And as we were marching and singing, I could see some men, some white men, with what appeared to be, and later proved to be, axe handles coming toward us, four or five of them. And this was an incident that we call Bloody Saturday. Did nobody break and run? I don't think I was the only one that saw the men coming. And right beside me was Mr. James Hope, I believe. Jack. Jack Hope. Jack Hope. And when we met there, they met us, and they went around us and behind us. And I'm looking at them long axe handles. Not the first, it wouldn't have been the first time that I got beat, but not with an axe handle. But they beat us here in this county, in Newton. They beat us down to the ground. And that was the day I believe I saw death coming after me. But it was a little old lady. She wasn't so old then. She was still a little in short. That lady in the red over there, I don't know her name. <laughs> <laughs> and Devanna Hope. She was coming out to her husband. And between the Van of Hope and Joseph Mo, she put her body over me and said, Stop, y'all, don't kill him. But she saved my life, I believe. She saved my life, all my life to Joseph Mo. So I knew I wasn't going to turn back then. But in spite of that fear, in spite of all the things that they did to us, in spite of the threats of death, and in spite of the deaths themselves, they killed some people. Here in Baker County, they killed people. That sheriff killed five people we know, five black people I'm talking about. And you, whether you know it or not, we weren't the only ones who were scared of that sheriff. White folk were scared of that sheriff because I was afraid of the sheriff. That sheriff ran the state troopers out of the county. He was evil. He was bad. He was mean. He'd go to folk's house at night and drag them out. Make them call them and make them come down. That's why they call him Gator. He had a yeah. I never seen and never heard what they said. Now, folk here will tell you that I'm not lying when I tell you. He said something like, Hooah! Huh? And our folk were just afraid. That's the kind of fear that we had. And that's the kind of fear that we overcome. Thank the Lord that we believe that we were children of the king. And we could walk where we wanted to walk. And we could talk where we wanted to talk. And we could register if they register. And we should have better housing and better places to, to, to send our children to school. And so my brothers and sisters, I come back to my last point. He said, that's what we got to begin doing again. Because all over the country, we're beginning to lose our rights. 